Question 12. A part. A bag contains four blue, five green, and six red identical balls. So, four blue, five green, and six red. Identical means you can't differentiate between them. All right. A ball is selected at random from the bag and then replaced. Okay, this is good news that it is replaced. If it was not replaced, then it would be difficult. But when it is replaced, it's good. Before a second ball is selected, find the probability that the two balls selected are both greens. So, first part says probability of green and green. Since we are replacing the ball back, that means the probability of the second withdrawal is not dependent on the first withdrawal. So, they are independent events. Since they are independent events, we can write this as probability of green multiplied by probability of green. And that's how it is, both greens. So, what is the probability of green? So, there are 5 green out of 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, 15. 5 greens out of 15 and that's the probability of a green ball. Since the ball has been replaced back again, the same probability and we can cancel them. So the answer is 1 over 9. Let's do second part here. So 1 is blue and 1 is red. If you notice, they have highlighted 1 and 1. It means they are not specifying that the first one is blue or first one is red. One is blue and one is red. That means they can change their place also. It can be or first one is red and second one is blue. That's also possible. So we'll have two cases, blue, red or red, blue. So what is the probability of blue? The blue are four, four out of 15. And the reds are 6, 6 out of 15. And because of or, or this will happen, they are mutually exclusive. We will add these two cases. It will be 6 or 15 multiplied by 4 out of 15. Exactly, they are exactly same. So we can write them two times 4 over 15 times 6 over 15. Because they are exactly same multiplication. So I added them. So in case of adding, I just multiplied by 2. Yeah, so now we can cancel this by 3, 5. So it becomes 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 out of 75. That's the answer of second part. Third part, of the same color, both the balls which are withdrawn are of same color. That means both are either green and green or blue and blue or uh, red and red. So even if they change their sequence, just like I multiplied here by two, there's no need to do that because they're identical balls of same color. So it doesn't matter. Similarly, I did not multiply here by two. But in this second part, they were of different color. That's why I multiplied by 2. They had highlighted 1 and 1. That's why I did it. If it was first is blue and second is red, then we wouldn't multiply by 2. So let's go back to our third part. So it will be, uh, it was how many? 5. 5 out of 15 multiplied by 5. 15 plus 4 over 15 multiplied by 4 over 15 plus uh, 6 Over 15 multiplied by 6 over 15. All right, so this becomes 25 over 2, 2, 5 plus 16 over 2, 2, 5 plus 36 over 2, 2, 5. Same denominator they have, so it remains same. 25 plus 16 is 41 plus 36 is 77 out of 225. That's the probability. Let's move on to the B part. 
given that sine 5x minus 38 is equal to cos 2x plus 16 and we have to find the value of x where x is between 0 and 90 degrees and uh, that's it. So if the angles were same it would be very very easy. We would just divide one by the other and make it tan. But the problem is the angles are not same. So what do we do? We use this fact. If you use your calculator just I'm writing this here to use your calculator to find out sine 40 degrees is equal to cos 50 degrees. Just confirm. Put sine 40 in your calculator. Put sine cos 50 in your calculator. Both of them will give you exactly same uh, answer. Similarly, sine say 22 degrees is same as cos 70, not 70, 68. 68 degrees or sine uh, 85 degrees equal to cos 5 degrees. Just put these one by one and you will see that their values are exactly same. And how do I know that? Because 40 plus 50 is 90, 22 plus 68 is 90, 85 plus 5 is 90, so we can say that sine x is always equal to cos 90 minus x, right? And that's the fact we will use here. Our original question is sine 5x minus 38 degrees equal to cos 2x plus 16 degrees, right? So let's convert this to cos. So if I convert this to cos, it will be cos 90 minus this angle, whatever angle is there. Just like here it was 85 subtracted from 90, we got 5. 22 subtracted from 90, we got 68. And similarly, uh, 40 subtracted from 90, we got 50. So x subtracted from 90, we got 90 minus x. And similarly, we will write here 5x minus 38 equal to cos 2x plus 16. No change on the right side. Only the left side change. I want it to both have cos. So cos 90 plus 38. Okay, This minus and this 38 will make it 128 minus 5x equal to cos 2x plus 16. And now, because both of them are cos now, we can equate angles. So 128 minus 5x equal to 2x plus 16. Take 2x to the left side, it becomes minus 5x minus 2x and take 128 to the right side, 128 plus 16. Okay, so it becomes minus 7x equal to, uh, it is minus 112. Okay, so x equal to minus 112 over minus 7 and this cancels out and we get 16 degrees and which is between 0 and 90. Exactly, yes. So that's the correct answer.